Hey, how is it going everybody? This is RVT coming at you with a video discussing some big news that happened in regards to Alabama football today. I knew a lot of people were going to want me to come on here and make a video and what my thoughts were about this, so I decided to go ahead and make a video on it. And if you're not already aware of the big news, Jacob Coker, who has been rumored for a long time and linked to Alabama, the backup quarterback from Florida State, has officially committed and will be transferring to the University of Alabama to play quarterback. People wonder, who is Jacob Coker? He's a three-star quarterback out of St. Paul's High School. Uh, he had an offer from Florida State. That was his biggest offer. He committed there. He was an Alabama fan growing up. And Alabama didn't really offer him until really late in the process. And it was kind of a rumor whether they did offer him or not. But he was so familiar with Florida State at the time. Uh, just so late in the recruiting process, he didn't decide to change his mind. He stuck with Florida State, and he he's battled the last couple seasons. He has two years now to play. He will be graduating in the spring and enrolling at Alabama in early, early summer. But this is a guy that had to battle EJ Manuel, who ended up being a first-round draft pick. And this past season, he battled right down the wire with James Winston. Uh, Jimbo Fisher has said that it came down to the very last part of fall camp. Jameis Winston edged him out by a little bit. Uh, they're even considering running a two-quarterback system. That's how high that coaching staff was on, uh, on in regards to Jacob Coker. That's how much they thought about him. That they almost started him over the future, the 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 uh, you know, the future Heisman winner, and the quarterback ended up leading Florida State to an undefeated and national championship season. So that's how good Jacob Coker is. Many NFL scouts, including Phil Savage uh, and a lot of others, have even said Jacob Coker has the talent, the size, the arm strength, the raw ability to be a first-round draft pick in the NFL. That's how high everybody is on Jacob Coker. And so an interesting tidbit here that I've said this before in my Q&A videos, but not in, maybe you haven't seen those yet. Jacob Coker was actually... Like I said, came out of St. Paul's High School in Mobile, Alabama. That's where A.J. McCarron went. A.J. McCarron graduated, and guess who stepped in to start the next year? Jacob Coker. The reason he wasn't highly recruited out of high school is because they ran a, ran a wing T offense at Florida State. Didn't get to throw the football a lot, but we've seen highlights. We've seen, seen, we have seen him at camps, and he's, he's very, very talented. I don't understand why they ran a wing T offense. But it did show that he's extremely athletic for the size that he is. He's 6'5", 230 pounds. So very athletic, huge arm. Uh, and it's, it's nice to be very athletic with that type of size. So that's that's not an issue. He's big. He has a size. That's that's very good. But he replaced A.J. McCarron the season after A.J. left. He went on to go to Florida State. And now, very possibly, he's going to be replacing A.J. McCarron at the University of Alabama. I find that very, very interesting and pretty awesome. Uh, how how uh, small the world is it? It's that's funny. But my thoughts on Jacob Cooper. That's the backstory on it. He'll now be going to the University of Alabama. Jameis Winston's going to be a starter for the foreseeable future. So Jacob Cooker wants to start a big time program where he deserves to do so for the next two seasons because he's graduated. As we all know, if you're not graduated, you have to transfer and sit out a season, but that's not going to be the case because he can transfer play right away because he'll be graduated. He's having to complete 18 hours at Florida State this spring to be able to play right away and graduate, but that shouldn't be a problem. The guy's really smart, great kid, and should be able to come in, I believe, start at Alabama right from the get-go. Uh, some will argue, oh man, he is going to miss the spring. He will not know the offense. Okay, two things. First of all, you can't tell me he's not going to be learning the offense. He, They can send him a playbook. The coaches can talk to him, etc., etc. He will learn the playbook. He will know the offense. Maybe not as much as he would going through spring. Obviously, I'm not arguing that he wouldn't know the offense if he went to spring. I mean, obviously, he'd benefit more than not being there. But it's not like he's going to come in as a blind duck not knowing, not knowing what's going on. So, there's that. He will know the offense. Maybe not frontwards and backwards, but he will know it. And number two, all these quarterbacks should have to go through something a little bit new because Lane Kiffin came in. Yeah, the offense is going to change, change dramatically, but it's a new coordinator. Everybody has to get adjusted to him, so he'll have just as good a shot as anybody else. He's more mature, I think, has better ability than the quarterbacks are on the roster now. I'm completely in favor of Jacob Coker coming to Alabama. If you saw my videos on here, I think it was 
Beginning of the season, the mid-season, I had questions. Who do you think Alabama's next quarterback is going to be? I said Jacob Coker right from the start. This guy's been linked to Alabama for a long, long time. The rumors have been going on for months and months, maybe even before the season has started. Uh, well, soon after Jameis Winston was named a starter, I can't remember when that went. I know it was a little bit, it was really late in fall camp. But ever since that happened, the rumors have been floating about. I really believed it made too much sense. And here it is today, officially confirmed Jacob Coker to Alabama. I love, love this because, I mean, you gotta think, think about this. The last quarterback, well, you gotta think. Yeah, Jameis Winston, who we committed to Florida State, blah, blah, blah. Auburn, last two times they made a national championship. Transfer quarterback in Nick Marshall. Transfer quarterback in Cam Newton. It just transfers. Yeah, they're pretty good. I don't care what anybody says. Experience, I'll take right away starting in front of guys who have no experience at all. Um, he, I mean, yes, he hasn't played, started at Florida State, but he has playing time. He's battled with arguably the greatest freshman in the history of college football. He's played in mop-up duties. He played in the spring game. I've saw highlights of that. He looked a little iffy in, in, in spring games, but not all quarterbacks look fantastic in spring games. So that's that. Um, all the players at Florida State said they do not skip a beat when the guy comes in. All the coaches love him. So obviously he's a high character guy, a high talent guy. So I'm completely in favor of this. The guys that come out and say, why do we want a backup quarterback from Florida State who was a three-star coming out of high school? Obviously don't know what you're talking about because star ratings on online recruiting websites have nothing to do with the player's performance. I can name so many players off the top of my head right now that were not even ranked with th two, three stars from the high school that are some of the best players in the NFL right now. Stars don't mean a thing at all. That's that. And if you think so, I don't know what to tell you. You're just wrong. You're flat out wrong. So if you just don't want the guy because he's a, a three-star athlete coming out of high school, get out of here. Get out of here. You don't know what you're talking about. But this Jacob Coker guy thinks and come in, play very solid. I mean, obviously, he won't know the playbook like AJ did. Obviously, it'll take some experience. I mean, it's going to be a big difference coming from Florida State to Alabama. It's going to be a huge transition. But in the long run, I seriously believe, raw talent-wise, this guy has more talent than AJ did. With that saying, I think AJ was our most talented quarterback in the past decade. Better than Parker Wilson, better than McElroy, better than Croyle. You can go on down the list. So, I know I might be saying a huge stretch here, but if he's better than AJ talent-wise, I mean, we don't know how he's going to be. I mean, I think he has leadership qualities, but you don't know how he is. I mean, coming into a new, just a completely new situation, but we'll, we'll just completely just throw that out the window right now. Talent-wise, this guy, I think, very easily could be the most talented quarterback in the past decade. Really do. No, that's a long stretch, but that's how I believe. He, according to NFL scouts, he's a potential first-round draft pick coming into Alabama. Pretty much all you have to do is hand the football off, but I think he can do a little bit more than that. Big arm, good size. Uh, Lane Kiffin, no matter what you want to say about him, he's very good with working with quarterbacks. So I think he'll come in, work with Kiffin, and I think all is going to be well, and I think he'll lead Alabama to a really good season. I think they do a lot better with him than they would do without him. And you never know, they might work in formations with Blake Sims. Because, I mean, obviously you're not going to give a whole year of backup playing time, mop-up duty to a quarterback that you just don't even have intentions on playing the next season or giving a shot. So I think the, the idea of throwing out Blake Sims out of the conversation is absolutely idiotic. I don't even want to like, go into detail there, but you're not going to give a guy playing time if he's, you don't even consider him playing. So I'll leave that at that. But in summary, Jacob Coker transferring from Florida State to Alabama. Really good move and replacing A.J. possibly for the second time in his career in high school and college. So interesting there. Great, talented guy. think he'll fit in well. And roll tide. So that'll be it, guys. Just let me know what you thought, think about the Jacob Coker transferring in the comment section below. If you think he'll do solid at Alabama, let me know if you think so. If you think otherwise, let me know that as well. Be sure to big hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash srtr. And as always, guys, roll time, go Sox, and go Titans to you. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.